question that I get asked all the time is, did I actually enjoy studying biomedical science? And the honest truth is... Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Helena and today's video is going to be different. As you probably all know that I study medicine. However, this video is going to be all about my biomedical science journey. And the reason why I'm doing this video is a lot of people just ask what was my journey to biomedical science. So I thought this would be a great video to film. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're one of my old subscribers, hey. <laughs> so yeah, so just relax and chill and I will go straight into the video. So I'm going to skip. So I did my A-levels, went to sixth form for two years and then went to study biomedical science. And if you watch my journey to medicine video, so I actually wanted to study medicine. So biomedical science was kind of like my, I would say my backup plan at the time. So I studied biomedical science at Oxford Brooks University. Hey, just in case anyone went to the university. And I yeah, studied biomedical science and it was a three year course. So I didn't do a placement year. So it was a three year course. That was 2014. Just thinking about that, that's actually a long time ago now like six, seven years. Damn, I'm old. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I started in 2014 and graduated in 2017. I might put a picture of my graduation video like here for you guys to see. I'm gonna go through how the course was like. So first year of biomedical science was pretty okay for me. I actually enjoyed it. So throughout my biomedical science course, I did several different modules. It ranged from molecular biology, cancer, biochemistry, hematology, immunology, cell pathology, pharmacology. And then during my third year, I had a project, which is my dissertation. And I have a story time for that, but you know what, we'll, we'll do another video on that. Maybe I'll do another video after this about my whole dissertation story. But anyway, so it was a three year degree and at um, the university, you have the option of taking a placement year or they call it a sandwich year. So this will be a four year degree in total. And during the placement year, you get to actually work within a laboratory setting. And most people use that chance to do their portfolio, which you need as a biomedical scientist. But one thing I really wanted to talk about is studying a biomedical science degree that's accredited. If I'm honest with you, I knew about the course very vaguely. Like I didn't really know about it in depth. And I felt like this video would be useful, especially if you are looking at studying biomedical science in the future. So what I mean by accredited courses is there's several different courses in the UK which are accredited by the Institute of Biomedical Science. And the reason why I'm telling you guys this information or whoever this video might be useful for is I found out the first lecture, I think, the first intro lecture that my degree was accredited. So they're like, congratulations, you know, for getting to university, accredited university by the Institute of Biomedical Science. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> I was lost. I was like, okay. I had no clue because no one really told me about it. And maybe I could have done my in-depth research. But I remember at the time when I was trying to research or watch videos on YouTube, I couldn't find many videos that actually explained to me what that meant. So I knew afterwards. So luckily I actually had a degree that was accredited really. And let me explain what it means. So the Institute of Biomedical Science has several universities which are classified as accredited degree. So not all biomedical science degrees are accredited. Having an accredited degree is very useful if you want to pursue a career along the biomedical science route. So if you want to become a biomedical scientist, you want to end up working in the lab, this is very useful for you as it will help you in terms of the process for your portfolio and lead you to the path towards being a biomedical scientist. Just to touch on as well, so the Institute of Biomedical Science is basically a professional body for biomedical scientists. Yeah. And the HCPC covers more than just biomedical science. It's actually required for about 15 other, yeah, 15 other like courses in the United Kingdom in the UK. And the whole point of this HCPC is to ensure that P 
people are competent enough to work with patients, to work with people, and they've got enough train and qualification in order to do this in the public. So yeah, so you find out that HCPC is required in nursing, midwifery, like other courses as well. It's not just biomedical science. I thought I'd just clarify what they are just in case people are confused about what the two are. So Institute of Biomedical Science is a professional um, body for biomedical scientists and the HCPC is a qualification, the certificate you're required to be competent to work as a biomedical scientist. Yeah, so the um, Institute of Biomedical Science have a PDF file or document online where they actually explain what it means. So I feel like it's all about doing your own research to find out exactly what type of course you want to go for. However, if your course is not accredited, it doesn't mean you can't become a biomedical scientist. It just means that there's more steps required before you get to that um, stage where you can actually apply for your portfolio or complete a portfolio, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Also, I'm going to put some screenshots here from the Institute of Biomedical Science, all about you know the degrees as accredited and also their statement about what it means to have an accredited degree and also what you have to do if your course is not accredited however you still want to go you know along the route of becoming a biomedical scientist or i can actually read some of it now i'm going to put it on the screen but i'm going to read it out so this is a statement from the institute of biomedical science and over here it says it says the following undergrad program are accredited by the Institute of Biomedical Science for individuals who wish to qualify in biomedical science. They also meet the academic requirement for registration as a biomedical scientist with the Health and Care Professions Council, so the HCPC. So this is very important. So the accredited degree will help you in terms of meeting the requirement to become a biomedical scientist. So some programs have integrated clinical training whereby graduates are eligible for the award of a certificate of competence on completion of their degree and can apply to the HCPC for admittance onto the registration. Other biomedical science degree are to be used in conjunction with laboratory training during the degree or post-graduation completion of the Institute's certificate of competence registration portfolio. All applicants seeking a route to HCPC registration who hold a non-accredited science degree will be required to have their degree assessed by the Institute. It may be necessary for individuals to undertake additional learning to acquire the requisite level of knowledge. The exact requirement would depend on the content of the applicant's honours degree. It's basically explained about what you have to do if it's non-accredited and if it's accredited. So I hope this will be like, very useful for everyone. And also I will link it in the description box below. So check that out as well. A question that I get asked all the time is, did I actually enjoy studying biomedical science? And the honest truth is at first, because I know I wanted to do medicine, I was kind of like, I still had medicine at the back of my head. But after doing the three years, I actually enjoyed the degree. However, I can't lie, the degree at some point, I was over it. <laughs> so overall, I did enjoy the degree. It did drive me nuts sometimes. It did drive me crazy at some point. And the way the course is set up is it's a lot of lectures. So I was in uni pretty much every day, so Monday to Friday and we had a lot of coursework and the coursework are very time consuming so it involves a lot of lectures a lot of essay writing and for my new person we had a lot of like presentation tutorials seminars and there was points where i had a lot of essays and exams like all clashing together but you start to get used to the pattern but it is a lot of work yeah that's very important really and for my project, I said I was, so that's my dissertation, I said I was going to do a story time. And let's just say, okay, I'll just give you guys a hint. So my dissertation was, it was really nice. I loved what I did. So I was looking at uh, African sleeping sickness. I was looking at a parasite called Trypanosoma brisei. I might have just butchered the name, but I'll put the name of the parasite here. So that was my research, it was very interesting, I loved it. And it wasn't even my first choice, but I ended up really liking it. 
and ended up getting the first class as well my dissertation but there's a story that I need to tell you guys but it wasn't easy because I went through a lot but after this video I'm going to film the story time after that but yeah so overall I enjoyed the biomedical science degree however I still wanted to do medicine regardless so I went on to working after my biomedical science degree and I was working within a lab so it was a histology lab however I was in the process of thinking about doing my portfolio and applying to medicine but then I ended up getting to medicine so I didn't do my portfolio anymore but just to let people know a lot of people do their portfolio at a different time so I have some friends that took a year out from their biomedical science degree so they did the placement year and they completed part or completely majority of their portfolio during that time so that means they'll go back so they take their placement year in second year so you do your first second year placement year then you go and do your third year then graduate and for them it was easier in terms of getting a job because they could start off applying for a band five biomedical science role because they've already completed the necessary certificate qualifications they've completed their portfolio, they've got their HCPC, etc, etc. Another group of friends, they've done their three-year degree in biomedical science, graduated, and they just get a job within the laboratory setting. So there's a role known as an MLA, so a medical laboratory assistant. I think as well you can be associate practitioner in a laboratory setting as well, which is a band four job. So MLA can range from band two, band three, and then associate practitioner is pretty much like a band four job. And then being a biomedical scientist is band five and onwards. For friends, they've done the option of studying biomedical science and doing their portfolio whilst working in a laboratory job. And then once they've finished their portfolio and got their HCPC registration, then they can actually apply for a band five job to become a biomedical scientist. So that's my biomedical science journey. It wasn't anything glamorous, but I just thought I'll share information about being accredited and making sure you pick your university wisely, especially if you wanna go down the route to be a biomedical scientist, this might matter to you. However, if you're already in the course that's not accredited, it's actually not a big deal. There's still a way towards completing your portfolio and it's just knowing the right information and knowing what to do really and i feel like when i first started university i just didn't know this information and to be fair all it takes is research or someone actually informing you about the information so that's why i did this video i don't think i really touched on the assessment so for the assessment we had a mixture of coursework and exams and we had tutorials lab sessions seminars what else? presentations, posters to do. We had so many assessments that we had to do. And I think that was useful because I think some of them kind of prepared me for medicine a little bit. And yeah, I do feel like the thing about biomedical science and medicine, like the two things I've noticed so far is in biomedical science, I had to do a lot of, I had to do things in a lot of details which is so different to medicine. Although medicine is still detailed amount of work, but the amount of research I'd have to go in a certain topic in biomedical science is quite different from medicine. And I think a lot of people have said the same thing as well. Like for example, in my exams, I was expected, so for example, if you wanna get like the top, top grades, in some exams, I was expected to reference a paper that I've read that's related to an answer. So imagine the amount of reading you have to do to be able to have a paper, like a research paper to be able to reference in exam. <laughs> it was so crazy. But yeah, so overall that was my biomedical science journey. It wasn't anything outrageous, but I thought I'll put it out there, especially because I've not seen any videos in regards to maybe biomedical science journey or more specifically about Oxford Brookes University. So I thought this video might be useful for anyone who's looking to apply there. Even people who might want to do medicine and kind of like, you know, apprehensive if what they should do, what they should not do. In terms of like 
because I get questions where people ask me, should I, you know, apply to medicine and should I apply to biomedical science, then medicine after and go through the graduate entry route? It's a very tough one to answer because things change a lot and uh, requirement changes. There's a lot of thing changes really. I feel like just try and weigh up your options. At the time, I didn't really think about different options. So I kind of just thought like, oh, I want to go to university. I didn't really consider a gap year and thinking about it, maybe I could have considered a gap year. I kind of just thought I'll go straight into biomedical science and then just apply for medicine afterwards. And sometimes it's not as simple as it sounds, but it's possible, if that makes sense. So I just feel like just weigh up your options and see which one makes sense and yeah, and then go for it. And also as well, I always say this in my like biomedical science related video, that biomedical science is not the only course you can study if you want to do medicine, for example. You know, weigh up your options. There's like so many different courses out there that you can apply and still study medicine in the future. So just do your research and make sure it's a course you like because biomedical science is an interesting degree. You learn a lot about diseases, diagnosis, treatments, and basically all the laboratory parts. And the great thing about biomedical science is how broad it is. Like there's a lot of things under biomedical science, like I mentioned, like hematology, immunology, pharmacology, microbiology, cancer. There's so many different things with so pathology. And you find yourself that when you study other courses in an overlap, like you study these topic in other science related courses too. And it's very good in terms of learning about the diagnostic process because part of even medicine involves a lot about, you know, diagnosis, treatment, prognosis and all of that. And in the course you learn a lot about it. So yeah, um, I think that's the end of my video really. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I hope this video was useful. I really hope it was. And if you do have more questions or if you feel like I've not covered a certain area, please leave a comment down below. Or you can also email me. So I'll put my email and also my Instagram where you can contact me in the description box and on the screen, Helena Life underscore. Yeah. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care, stay safe, stay beautiful. And also happy new year, because obviously this is a new year. And I hope this year will be a great one. Fingers crossed. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.